Hey, Renter Retires, it's Adam Schrader here, and today I just have one question for you. How has your year started? Before we get started with today's episode, let me remind everybody, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the notifications bell, and don't miss out on any of these uh, videos we're putting out. As we try to make you the most educated investor you can possibly be, we really appreciate the time you've spent educating yourself and making sure that you are the most informed real estate investor you can possibly be. So don't forget to click the notifications bell, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and let's get started with today's video. You made a promise to yourself on January 1st, perhaps even December 31st, and I wanna know how has your year been going so far? When you made that promise, let's just say, at a bare minimum, it was to purchase one property in 2023. Well, guess what? As of right now, we're about 10% of the way through the year. We are edging right up on that number. And if it takes 30 to 45 days on average, depending where your property is in rehab or construction to close the deal, 30 to 45 days, suddenly you're looking at the year being 20% over. So one fifth of the year gone if you're going to close on a property sometime in 2023. So have you started taking the steps you need to take to achieve that goal? Well, Many of the people I've been talking on the phone with so far this year have taken that step. They're starting the pre-approval process. We're getting properties under contract. It is great to see so many of you actually doing what you've promised yourself you would do. That makes me incredibly happy. But what makes me a little frustrated and what I really hope isn't happening to you are those people I talk to on the phone who say, I want to get something under contract in the first quarter of 2023 and then they don't even start the approval process. Because that approval process, it doesn't guarantee you're gonna put something under contract, but it lights the fire inside you. It kind of puts you on a timeline, even though it's not official. Like if it expires, so what in general, but knowing you have it there, that kind of kicks you into gear, makes you get going. So that first step, it's so important, take that first step, but that approval process really spurs you to start getting serious about the goal you set for yourself. So remember your timelines, remember your goals. Very little is likely to have changed between January 1st and today. Very little is likely to have changed. So the thing that will have changed is your desire to actually achieve the goals that you're looking to achieve. It's very easy at the beginning of the year, end of the previous year, to look out on the next, you know, 2023 and say, yeah, let's go get them. Let's get that property. Let's get the two, three, four, however many you're talking about getting. It's really easy to get excited. And then 10% of the year in, you haven't done it. So you think, eh, I can wait 15%, 20%. And the year just keeps going on and on and you don't move forward. You lose that momentum and it can really hurt your ability to achieve what you want, not just today, but that means it's gonna hurt you five years, 10 years down the road as you look at your investing journey. So it's up to you to keep yourself moving forward on this path. Now, obviously, we at Rent to Retirement can help keep you accountable. It's one of the things we're here for, but we can't keep you accountable if we don't ever get the chance to talk with you, if you haven't scheduled something. So please reach out to us and schedule something because we wanna help you get where you're looking to go. But let's just face the facts. Interest rates are what they are. And while many people think they're high, historically speaking, they are not. Rents are what they are. We're obviously with turnkey going to be on the higher end of the spectrum. That's just how it is. We've got the nicest house on the block so we can charge the most on the block, but they are what they are. Appreciation is what it is. And even that, you know, most people shouldn't be factoring that in since you can't eat appreciation and you're in this for the cash flow. Are you really going to keep waiting around for that elusive price drop, which may or may not come? Are you really gonna wait around for that magical rate drop that may or may not come? We don't know. You've seen what other asset classes are doing. You've seen how volatile they are, especially compared 
to what's going on in the real estate market. You've seen that it's been proven time and time again. It has happened the last you know year minimum of what's going on out there. So stop waiting around. You've seen how volatile that can be. And you've seen that even if the appreciation slows down or stops, your cash flow continues with real estate. So I'm begging you, follow what you planned and get going because how has your year been so far? Well, I hope it's been good, but if it hasn't, let's kickstart it and get you going to where you want to be. And you can find that all by heading over to renttoretirement.com and booking a call with us right there on the website. Schedule it with us today. We have open slots and then, you know, at any time, you know, we've got something that can, you can work with you and get you in there talking about your goals and we can help you achieve those goals. But keep your education going, not just with this YouTube channel, but with our podcast. We have a great podcast. I'm bragging on it because I'm the host of it. But we have a podcast where we are trying to educate you more, even more than what we're doing here on the YouTube channel. You can find that. Just head over to whatever podcast platform you're using and subscribe to it. Leave a review. We really appreciate um, everybody who's done that so far. So just search Rent to Retirement on your podcast app. And if you have any questions for us, or if there's any other videos you want us to make, any questions you want us to answer on YouTube, on the podcast, wherever, send them to podcast at renttoretirement.com. That's podcast at renttoretirement.com. Really appreciate the time you've spent watching this video, the time you're spending educating yourself. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, click the like button, and I'll talk to you on the next video. Thanks for watching the Rent to Retirement YouTube channel. Check out some of our other videos, like this one, or this one here.